In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the more common issues you may face with a pump, and that is a relief valve that is set too low. Uh, now, if you're unfamiliar with or could use a refresher on how an internal relief valve works, uh, please visit our video on an internal relief valve operation first. Uh, but basically, each uh, positive displacement pump needs some form of overpressure protection, and for Viking pumps, that commonly takes the form of an internal relief valve. Now, these relief valves are adjustable, and their role is to limit the amount of pressure that that pump can develop in a system. Uh, the problem is systems are created differently. Some systems, because of the viscosity of the liquid, the length of the pipe, and so on, require more pressure than others. Now, the relief valve on the pump is going to be factory set, but that might not be the right setting for what the pump's going to be in the system. Maybe this pump came from a different part of the plant, maybe this pump came from a distributor's inventory, and that valve needs to be reset. Now, the three symptoms you're going to run into most commonly with this, first, the pump is going to be low on capacity. You expect a certain amount of flow, maybe we're only getting half or a third or less uh, capacity out of that pump than what we would normally expect. The second most common symptom we get is an insufficient pressure. We were expecting a certain pressure on that system and the pump is delivering less. We're incapable of developing the flow and the pressure that, that is required for pushing that liquid through the downstream system. Uh, and the third symptom that you're going to run into uh, with an improperly low set valve is the heat. With pushing that liquid across the relief valve and recirculating it internal to the pump, uh, there is going to be some heat generation as well, and the amount of heat generated is going to be a function of how much liquid is being forced into recirculation. In other words, if the valve is recirculating 90% of the flow, uh, that pump is going to be running hotter than one that's only recirculating maybe 5 or 10% of the flow. Uh, now, what are we going to run as far as a test to determine whether or not this is uh, the root cause? Well, first, we're going to want to put gauges on the pump, specifically the discharge side. And we're going to want to compare that gauge setting to the relief valve setting. Uh, another test we can do, Knowing that these relief valves are adjustable, we can remove that adjusting screw cap, we can tighten the adjusting screw down, and we can run a test again to see how much flow we get. Now, if the flow rate changed as a result of that adjustment, then the relief valve is at least in part, part of the root cause of the failure. It doesn't mean necessarily that we've got it fixed yet. We may have to get that relief valve setting up higher, but it does mean that the relief valve is part of the problem. From there, if we need to fix this entirely, one, we need to figure out how much pressure we need that relief valve set at, and then using uh, Viking resources uh, at your local distributor uh, or catalog resources, we can figure out which spring we need, would need and what adjustment we would need to make to that spring to keep that valve closed during normal operation.